The subject of my thesis is a person you've never heard about <laughs> and the impact of social media in the ancient world. The person is a guy called Enodius, a minor aristocrat who lived in northern Italy at the turn of the 6th century. Enodius was unimportant, but he knew important people. He feuded with the philosopher Boethius. He wrote propaganda for the Gothic king Theodoric, and he's the first person to have called the Pope the Pope. He also, we know Enodius because he left behind a, a collection of 350 letters and poems, in which he recorded the end of the Roman world and life under the Germanic kingdoms that replaced it. These events are still with us today. The rhetoric of the 6th century is often used by people to demonize issues such as migration, who like to say phrases like barbarians at the gates and the dawning of a new dark age. So it's important we understand the worldview that produced this. Historians have often approached this from political history, using as an Enodius as a source to recreate events. But to do so, it's kind of like writing a history of modern America with only the tweets of Donald Trump. <laughs> Letters and poems are social media. And like all forms of social media, they're infused with rhetoric and with self-representation. Enodius was unimportant, but he wanted to seem important. And he was in, obsessed with uh, self-image just like Donald Trump. However, so in order to understand Enodius and the events that he lived through, I don't approach it through political history, but rather by trying to understand his social worldview and the social uh, networks within which he worked. I take first a quantitative approach, using social network analysis to understand and examine the traces of the social networks in which Enodius participated in. I want to know who he talked to, what he talked to them about, and how frequently he talked to them. But this can only take us so far. We only have a fraction of Enodius' communication, less than 1% of his letters. So I complement this with a qualitative literary analysis that deconstructs and uh, deconstructs uh, the rhetoric and social discourse that Enodius presents. I want to know what he says. So in order to compare uh, what Enodius says and what Enodius does, I hope to provide a more comprehensive view of Enodius, the worldview in which he lived in, and the impact of his social media on our views of the past. Thank you.